So I'm late to this video, but I still wanted to make it. And that is this video about the Captain Rex micro fighter. So I saw actually on Facebook when this was releasing, I really didn't realize it was so close to being June 1st, you know? And I was like, oh wow, holy crap. Um, I wonder uh, I, I wonder how it's gonna do, honestly, because I really haven't been keeping up with any of the news around this set. The last thing I heard about this says that it was happening. That, that's it, you know? I don't try to keep up with a lot of the drama concerning this. Personally, that's just me. I already have enough drama in my life. I don't need a bunch of Captain Rex Lego drama. Even though I did a video about that when the rumors began about Captain Rex's Huawei microfighter coming out. But anyways, I went ahead and I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw on one of the groups I'm on that someone said that this set was sold out in the UK already. I'm just like, what? I'm sorry, what? And I was like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and see where it's at in the US. I don't know. And I went on and I said it was on back order. I'm just like, okay. Well, this, this is definitely a set that I wanna get for me personally. They were on back order and the max to order was three. So I did that, and when I got the email for confirmation, like, yeah, you know, your order's placed, but again, it's on back order. And then I got an email literally maybe three hours ago, and three hours later, I'm sorry, from when I first got the confirmation for my order, that they were out of stock, and that they would not be able to guarantee anything to be shipped until August. So I read that, I'm just like, all right, that's fine. Like, as long as I know that at some point I will get my hands on one one of these, because I wanted the new updated Captain Rex. I mean, General Rex 1, Captain Rex, where do you think the Rex came from? Well, kind of, kind of, not really. It's not the real man of what Rex is, but future 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 did i expect it to be august no i expected it to be delayed again just because of what i was starting to see more and more on facebook the scalpers the bulk purchase purchaser the bulk buyers purchasers whatever all that kind of stuff and it didn't really get to me but i'm just like eh that might affect something but i got the email saying hey uh your order shipped just like what this isn't august this was still june it's still june uh and yeah so i made a short about it i got three of them that's all um some people think i'm a bad person for having three of these uh i guess keep hating i i i don't know what to tell you god bless you i hope you do well in life uh you know a whopping forty dollars with because of shipping and handling and taxes you know forty dollars yeah uh I'm, I'm i'm a bad person so there's that uh but besides that i do want to go ahead and just go over like my thoughts when i got this what my plan is because I wasn't even planning on actually holding the sky until later this year. Honestly, I was expecting it to be more September to actually get my hands on the sky because I was able to find them in stores, even in local Target. Uh, when it was because it's a Target exclusive, early exclusive, temporary, something weird. Uh, they've done it before in the past. I can't name off the top of my head what they've done in the past before, but I know they've done temporary exclusive sets before. And they've also had just exclusive sets before, which I think they should go back to doing. But then again, I also think Toys R Us should come back as an actual store, not just Macy's toy section. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into what my thoughts are about this whole thing. When I decided to go ahead and sit down and start building this micro fighter, 
I was very excited about it. It's like building the 2013 Barksburg with Sidecar again. I'm getting one of my favorite Star Wars characters in Lego minifigure form again. And yeah, the excitement was there and I really, really enjoyed building this set. It's a small box, it's a micro fighter. It's not like a huge deal. The, the artwork, the design on the box is very cool. I like it. And yeah, I mean, it's just 99 pieces, all that good stuff. The Captain Rex minifigure, I actually enjoy. Uh, I know that might not be the way other people will look at it, but I think it's a decent minifigure. The build of the set is pretty interesting. The engines of the Y-Wing were put together kind of weird. They go together like regular pieces, but there's also this rod that's going through the middle of some of the pieces, and I kind of get the reason for it, but also it really doesn't work that well, but hey, whatever, it's fine, it's just a micro fighter, I like it. The Captain Rex minifigure was also very fun to put together, and my first thoughts looking at the Captain Rex minifigure were, this is pretty cool, uh, this is... This is Captain Rex, like, Phase 2. A more, maybe a more proper Phase 2 than the last one. And I say proper, not, maybe not because of the printing, but because of the helmet holes. Uh, you can actually put the rangefinder on Rex, which is something you couldn't do with the 2013 Rex. It really didn't take away from the minifigure in 2013 because that minifigure is still a fantastic minifigure. But yeah, the, the, those were my first thoughts about the Y-Wing Microfighter for Captain Rex. Hey Rex, how's it going? It, the Microfighters are always bigger than what I expect. And I mean, I got big hand. So I mean, that's, that's the Microfighter right there. But it's still always really cool. I don't own a lot of micro fighters. I know the one that I bought the most of is I think the Wookiee Gunship micro fighter. I bought I think three of those more because it was a nice cheap price to get some Wookiee Warriors as like background uh, minifigures for builds and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So the micro fighter. The rod thing I'm talking about is it's the engines back here, and they still come off. I don't know if you saw that. They still come off, but the rod is there. And you can't push the rod up any higher because of this little lip in here. The rod won't fit through that little gap. That's what and she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah. Gosh darn it. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, but another really cool thing about this that I do like, I'm going to move Rex aside here, is that would get a nice printed control panel piece for the Y-Wing Starfighter. Those are always nice to have, especially if you are wanting to make any type of custom build and you need some of that extra into your like, computer design and elements. That's where I was, the computer elements. Uh, that's really nice to have, just to be able to get that nice printed computer piece in this micro fighter. It's just, it's just a nice little Y-Wing build. I've seen a lot of people take, I think, two of these and they made a U-Wing Micro Fighter. So that might be an idea for my other two. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my other ones yet or the future ones I'll probably end up buying later on because this is a really cool Micro Fighter. Uh, not because of just the minifigure, but again, the build is cool. People are making some nice alternate builds, combining stuff. Maybe someone can make a legitimate mic a legitimate Y-Wing from Micro Fighters. Some sort of bigger scale Y-Wing from the Micro Fighters. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, moving on to the minifigure though. Now, good old go Captain Rex and the Rangefinder. I love the tally marks on Rex. That's always been a awesome thing to see with the clones right there and yeah I think the arm printing is awesome they show 
his like wrist communicator on his arms as well, which is really cool. More Talia marks on the left arm, all that good stuff. He does come with the like more slightly better molded blaster pistols rather than Lego's regular, just Lego style blaster pistols. The front printing isn't too bad. I I do think that it could use maybe a little bit of work. Uh, that's just me. I don't know how other people are thinking about this. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure there are complaints about probably the size of the ammo clips. The not the ammo clips, but the ammo storage on his chest piece. Regardless of that, the leg printing I think looks cool. It is sad that we don't get an actual waist cape. That's something that I really don't understand still why Lego has digressed in that. Uh, yeah, because I sit here and think back to the 2012 ARC Trooper. That minifigure is really cool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see if I have the ARC Trooper in my little display case for my clones. Let me go ahead and look at that. I'll grab the uh, 2013 Captain Rex as well, and we'll compare the two Phase 2s. So this is my nice little display case for clones right here. There's a bunch of different clones. Um, they are not all here for some reason. Oh, yeah, I did take some off because, yeah, I, th I do have more versions of clones, but anyways, that's not for this. So let's go ahead and take that off. And let's grab 2013 Phase 2 Rex and the 2012 Arc Trooper. Still in very good condition too. Very nice. Couple of the rest of these guys back up. Helps prevent some of the dust. I do like, I love the look of the clones. The Republic is not my favorite faction, but I do like the clone army. The Separatist is my favorite faction, by the way. So this is the Arc Trooper from 2012 right here. And he also came with a black waist cape, but he does have the burgundy pauldron. And actually, it's not, it's not a waist cape, I think it's called a comma, I think, but I, a waist cape, whatever. But yeah, uh, so this is, you know, Captain Rex Phase 2, the new one, and the ARC Trooper from 2012. So, the printing on the ARC Trooper, I think, is definitely better, more appealing to the eye, if that makes sense. But yeah, there is that. Um, so, obviously, they've also done improvement with the heads of clones since 2012. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? A boom! Yeah, buddy. Absolutely, I've done some improvement with the heads for clones. Um, but it's still, the Arc Trooper is still such a good minifigure. Such a good minifigure. Don't get triggered, but I'm pretty sure I got his pauldron on the wrong side. But yeah, this is the 2013 Rex right here. So, definitely more printing on the new Rex, but you can really tell that they just printed in the wastecape rather than giving the wastecape. Oh, his little rangefinder fell off. You can tell this is what the wastecape should be. They just printed it on for this one. But, you know, not a huge fan of that. I'd still rather have the waist cape on him. You know, obviously, this one has arm printed. This one has blue arms. This one is also not just regular Phase 2 Rex. This is uh, him during Zygeria arc. So he has mud and stuff on his armor. So that was one reason why some people were kind of against this Rex because it was all dirty and then this one 
is all clean, you know, all that good stuff, good armor. Uh, minus the slight weathering that they actually have printed on here, like on his arms, the weathering that's printed on there. I have not looked at this face of Captain Rex in so long. Holy crap. But there is 2013 Rex versus 2024 Rex. The face. That's insane, man. Yeah, but this one actually has some stubble and stuff like that. Um, I don't remember if Rex actually had stubble. I don't remember much facial hair on Rex, but hey, it, it works. I, I know like the old man Rex, didn't he have something, something going on? Like peach fuzz or something? I'm not sure, but either way, those are the two Rexes looked at side by side. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just be honest, which version of Rex do I prefer? I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. I think I would still prefer the 2024 over the 2013 for the reason of the helmet hole, the accessory hole. Uh, also, there is some better printing with the helmet on this Rex compared to 2013's. There is also better arm printing on the 2024 Rex compared to the 2013. So with those two things, I, I would say this. But can we improve this Rex without going overboard? Well, yeah, we, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so looking at the new Rex right here, Let's go ahead and start thinking about what we want to go ahead and change up. Well, let's go ahead and start by maybe getting the waist cape off of the 2013 Rex right here and grabbing that off of him. Just a black waist cape. This on him. Voila. So that right there is a waist cape on the new Rex and it literally covers up the printing that they put on for the waist cape right there. So that's cool. But I'm interested to see what the other pauldron looks like on him. So there is new Rex with the old pauldron and waist cape. That honestly does not look bad. Now what if we uh, the hole apparently the helmet doesn't like the newer head. Let's risk it again. And that real raggy. There we go. This looks too bad. Just by simply adding in the waist cape of this Rex just honestly made the figure more for me personally. I'm also just not noticing <laughs> that he has toe printing. That's that's interesting. That's really that's really cool. I'm just not noticing that. Uh but yeah, uh so obviously this is about the Rex and how I feel and I feel like you wouldn't be Rex without the boys in blue so I gotta go ahead and put together some boys in blue so gotta dive into my sealed collection and I got three of the just one actually called just the five of first clone troopers battle packs Three of these, they are on sale. They still should be on sale for $16 now at Walmart. I believe these guys and the 332nd are $16 now.
look at that. So there is Captain Rex, all good and ready with his part of the 501st Legion. I need to get fives. I guess it's time to get that set. But yeah, uh, some of these guys are just really cool with the different combinations and stuff you can make with the weapons and just the additional accessories. I think one of my favorite ones are going to be this guy right here. It's like a longer shotgun right there. And this guy right here made a Gatling gun. Pretty cool. Really like the macro binocular piece that came in that battle pack. But yeah, Rex is looking good in all his glory. I also didn't realize this before, but they all got toe printing. They all got toes. Look at that. Look at that. Brothers got toes. I love it. I got some extra tidbits here because I want to see what those look like on Rex. If you didn't like the gray antenna, here is the blue antenna or rangefinder. I actually like that, I think. Yeah. Not too shabby. It's interesting. But, alright, let's try the next one. If you don't like the rangefinder at all, how about the visor? I am not against this. Is this what Commander Rex would have looked like? Not against this at all. Hmm. Very interesting. What do you guys think? But, let's not make any judgment on your favorite yet. You've got the macro binoculars next. And now, for Captain Rex, with Macro Binoculars. Alright, alright. Alright. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. And then, boom, flip that up. Looks like he's tech. Oh, I guess too soon. R.I.P. Root Tech. He didn't come back. He wasn't Clone X. Oh, so sad. I like that. That's interesting. Okay, okay. This clone right here is Troublemaker. That's your clone name, my dude. Troublemaker. Alright. So that was Rex with all of the different accessories that were just right here, what he came with, and then extras from the battle pack right there. Pretty cool. I like it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the little display of the 501st trooper that just got built, just learning for this. And good old face to Rex. I think I like it with the macro binoculars. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, like just... Just this pose right here. I think this pose, I'm gonna do something with this and that'll be the thumbnail of something. Uh, probably do like a picture of him with these guys right here. But yeah, I I think it's just cool to have an updated Captain Rex. Adding the waist cape on fixes, I think, every issue that I would have with the figures, just the fact that it does come with a waist cape. Other than that, you know, Rex is still pretty cool. I like him. Pretty cool dude. Pretty nice minifigure, if I say so myself. And with the wayscaping, they actually put the printing on. It actually adds, like, some shadow effect. So, like, there's more depth to the figure. Interesting. But yeah, I like that. Still think the big old Gatlin gun is pretty cool too, though. 
It's just the one piece that comes with the battle pack and the three of the binocular pieces. So basically what the, these guys normally have right here. But there's two more binocular pieces and then reverse the hand and put this upside down and you get that. Pretty cool. With all that being said though, I really did enjoy building this little micro fighter. Uh, again, having the updated Captain Rex, I think is a really good thing. Um, one of the things that I also can see is this set lasting maybe longer than the previous long lasting, long life micro fighter, which I wanna say, I think was the Millennium Falcon micro fighter. I think, I don't even know how many, I, has there been two Millennium Falcons? I don't know, uh, micro fighters, I mean. But I know one of those lasted a long time. I don't know if the N1 Starfighter has beat that streak of being um, for shelf life, retail shelf life, I mean. Uh, but I don't know, I think this is gonna be a long shelf life micro fighter. And yeah, it's it's Captain Rex, man. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. I got nothing else to say. Hope you have an awesome God bless day. Rex coming in. How dare you fall on your commanding officer? Are we getting it? No. Get on. Oh no, the dominoes. Bros me dominoes. What the? Hey. No. Almost in there. Uh, Shut up, you. Oh, so close. Alright, my, abil my abilities are so great that I should be able to. I should be able to. Aha! Uh -huh. No. Where's a base plate? Wouldn't you need it? I have one. Gosh darn it, why? Sorry, Rex, don't look like that. Can I do it? Stop it!